All right, so um, not really sure what I'm doing here. I um, think I just wanted to maybe make a little video log vlog for myself um, just to kind of document what I've gone through in the last few months. Um, and just so I'll have it for future reference to look back on, um, depending on the situation, if anybody else ever needs to look back on it. Um, whatever the case may be, if it helps someone or if it just helps me keep peace of mind just to know what I've been through. Keep me humble a little bit. Um, a couple years ago, I had some discharge coming out of my left breast and I went to my primary care physician and I spoke with her about it. Due to my age, um, I was in my 20s at the time, hormones, you know, I've had two children, wasn't a big cause for concern. So here we are a couple years later, um, 2020, January of 2020, I noticed that I was having some bright red um, blood come from my left breast. So I decided that I would mention that to my OB. Um, I was actually having some clear come out on my right side too, but it wasn't very much, wasn't really concerning. I was supposed to see her in March, but we had COVID-19 happen and that pushed my appointment back to June. I apologize for the way I look. I'm at home, I'm on my break from work. I'm just, I don't care. Um, nobody's gonna judge me, I hope. So I went to my OB in June and she you know, checked me out and she said, you know, it's not really reason for concern necessarily. Um, at that point in time, she tried to express a little bit and it didn't come out bloody. It was just clear, but she clearly saw that I was still having discharge. I haven't had a baby since um, 2015. So it's 2020 now. There's no reason that should be happening necessarily. Um, she wanted to check my prolactin levels to check and make sure that I wasn't um, elevated in those that would be making me lactate, give cause for concern that there could be a pituitary tumor somewhere, something going on. Um, in the middle of all this, I found out that I had a pineal gland cyst in the middle of my head. So I was going through some stuff, going through MRIs and CT scans and um, neurosurgeon appointments and um, just a lot of stress, you know. And she and I both decided that we were, my prolactin levels came back fine. For now, we were just going to kind of put that on the side because I needed to make sure this was okay your pineal glands directly in the middle of your brain. I'd been having some bad headaches, which I've had honestly all my life. Um, spoke with my neurosurgeon and we went back and I have CT scans back for years, back in 2004. I was in a, um, actually no, not 2004, I lied, 2008. I was in a car accident, 2007 or 2008. I can't really remember, I was a senior in high school, so I had to have been 2007. Um, and I had a CT scan and all my old CT scans showed that it was there and it hasn't grown. It is a fairly large cyst, um, but it's in a really bad spot and they don't like, there's like three surgeons in the country that take those out. And unless there's a major cause for concern, it's gonna stay put and I'm just gonna treat my symptoms. So I got that taken care of, got it under control, knew, found out what was going on, got that stress out of my life. Um, and my OB and I spoke and we decided that I um, should have a ductogram done. So basically they take a catheter and place it inside the duct that is leaking. Um, and contrast dye is given and they take x-ray images to see if there's you know, some kind of a mass or um, a clogged duct, something infection to see what would be causing this. Still no reason for concern. Um, this is obviously months later. So my original appointment was in June. It is now November 4th, um, 2020. And they called to make my appointment. And when I spoke with the breast center, um, the gold standard, they do ductograms, but the gold standard is now an MRI. The radiologist felt that I should have an MRI done. So um, they scheduled my MRI. They called me the next day. Insurance would not give a prior authorization on it without having a mammogram done first. So we canceled my MRI and scheduled a mammogram. I went in for my mammogram. It would have been not last week, but the week before. No, last week. Early last week. Yeah, early last week I went in for my mammogram. Um, I had a mammogram done. And again, this is November now. So October, I went in for my mammogram. Um, that's how far back it got pushed because, you know, life. Life's going on. Coronavirus. The election, the election, you know, we voted yesterday. Um, had my mammogram done. Radiologist read my mammogram, immediately just asked if the 
tech would go ahead and do an ultrasound. So I did an ultrasound directly following the mammogram that day. Um, they did see, and mind you, since this all happened, I started to have darker um, discharge from my right breast as well. Bright red blood was continuing and still is off out of the left and my right side is just, it changes colors, but it does get to be bloody at times too. Um, have the ultrasound done. They found something on the right side. So she went and she showed the radiologist my ultrasound. He asked her to go back and do some more um, to get some better pictures and hopefully just prove that it's a clogged duct. So she came back in, um, she looked for a long time and she said, you know, I, I think we're just gonna have to call it. She said, you can go ahead and get changed. Um, he's probably gonna wanna schedule an MRI. So she said, it's just too hard to see the image on this, but she goes, don't worry, it could be anything, which is correct. Cysts, benign lumps, all kinds of stuff um, can happen. That's not really a reason for concern. So um, we schedule my MRI. This time it is approved by insurance because I've already had a mammogram, I've had an ultrasound, this is the next step scheduled my MRI. Um, I believe my mammogram was on Wednesday and my ultrasound was on Wednesday of last week. And on Friday, last Friday morning, I had my MRI. So they were on it. Like they got me in and had my MRI done. Um, they told me it'd be 24 to 48 hours before I heard anything. Um, had this last long weekend, Monday, which was, so today's Wednesday. So two, day, two days ago, Monday, I didn't hear anything. Um, yesterday on Tuesday, I start to get updates to my um, online health record through the hospital's um, port patient portal, um, which is amazing. I absolutely love that. If you have results for anything um, and you want to keep them for your records, they're already there. They're there for you to look at. Um, I can check my last blood pressure, my last weight. You know, I think it's a great tool. Normally, I get a phone call and then I'll get the results following. They'll come in. I started getting these updates coming into my patient portal and I'm like uh okay I don't know if I want to look at these without talking to someone but I did see a new condition come up so I'm like oh I'll just look at that condition comes up and all it says is breast mass left so I'm thinking in my head okay the reason we did the MRI even though I've been worried about my left side is that they clearly saw a mass on the right side so I'm like well maybe that's a typo so I hadn't heard anything and I'm like eh, obviously if they have my results the radiologist has you know, done his report and they've sent it to the doctor. So I called multiple times yesterday and nobody called me back for quite a while, but I did finally get through to someone um, and the nurse called me back instantly. And I have to say um, my OBGYN, her nurses are amazing and I love them and they always treat me like they know me on a personal level. When they get on the phone with me, they're just kind, caring individuals and I so appreciate that. And the nurse immediately apologized. She was under the impression that the breast center was calling me. Um, and they didn't, which is totally fine. I honestly, when I called was like, I don't know if I called my doctor or if I called the breast center. Um, so I just called my doctor and she went ahead and gave me the results. Um, they did still, the MRI showed the mass on the right side, um, but it is something that they request be followed up on in six months. So in six months, they want me to have another MRI done, but it's no cause for immediate concern at this moment. It's still something I need to watch. Um, we don't know what it is. It didn't say, it just said it was a, a finding. I don't know if it's a um, clogged duct. I don't know if it's a, a papilloma. I don't know what it is. We don't know. Um, and then the left side stated that there was a suspicious finding in the left side. So what I read with the condition was not incorrect. They did find a mass in the left side. Um, that one is what's considered a suspicious finding. And then it said multiple findings throughout the breast. So there's some other spots in here. The other spots they recommend um, that I have a follow-up in six months for another MRI, the same as the right side. So I will, I'm sure I will have that done. Um, but the suspicious finding, they do want me to have an MRI guided biopsy done. So um, it just states it's more suspicious looking pattern. Um, so that's where I'm at. Um, when you have these things done, they give you what's called a BIRADS score. So it's just basically kind of um, a scale to kind of show you what's going on or what the reading showed. So they scale you from zero to six. Um, zero meaning that they probably just didn't get a clear picture and they need to do it again. One, no cancer found. 
um, a two, they may have found like a benign spot, but it's no, not cancer. There's no reason for any more follow-ups. You'll just come back any year again, have your normal mammogram done. Remember, I'm only 31 years old, so normally I wouldn't have had a, would not have had a mammogram. This is just a special circumstance, and I'm thankful that I did. Um, a three is a probably benign finding, um, but they request that you come back in six months for a follow-up or three months, depending on what they think, um, for another mammogram or an MRI or whatever the case may be. A four, meaning they've found something suspicious, um, they recommend a biopsy be done. Um, and then a five is they found a suspicious spot. 95% of the time it is malignant. Um, and then six, you've already been diagnosed with breast cancer. So I'm at a four on the BIRAD score. That's kind of just a tricky spot because um, they recommend that you have the biopsy done, but you really don't know. I mean, it could just as easily be benign as it is um, cancerous. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm waiting on a phone call. They will. The nurse said that she put the order in yesterday morning. They will be calling me to have that MRI guided biopsy done on the left side. Um, as long as that comes back benign with pathology, I will just have a six month follow up on everything. I'll have another MRI in six months. Um, depending on what they find may change the course of action for these other spots too. I don't really know. So that's really all I know. Um, I love my doctor. I love, I think the radiologist, I'm so glad that he was so thorough with it. The tech, everybody has just been amazing um, because you see these things. I am only 31. And of course, you know, the tech, she's like, you know, you're 31, you're too young to be dealing with this. And, you know, just don't let yourself get worried. And, and it's hard not to, I have two children, you know, my, my oldest is eight and my youngest is five and it's, I'm a single mom and it's hard to, not let yourself go there and think, you know, what if, but I'm not, I'm staying positive and I am young. And from what I've been told, this um, suspicious looking spot is very small. So that's a great thing. Um, they, the report did not indicate anything in any lymph nodes. Um, so that's awesome. So I just wanted to, you know, log this and just kind of keep a detailed little video journey for myself or anyone in the future. And um, I'll keep doing that. So I will have this biopsy and I will let everybody know what um, comes of it. Thank you.